Hi Sagittarius, this is Wendy. Welcome to my channel, Wendy's Tarot. In this video, we're going to go ahead and ask the cards, who will be your next love relationship? Who will be your next love relationship? All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Just as a reminder, this is a general reading. It might not resonate with everyone, but if it resonates and, it, and if it connects with you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate it. All right, I also wanted to say that my readings are for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. However, I do recommend that you watch your Venus sign first or that you prioritize your Venus sign because this is a, a love reading and Venus is the planet of love and relationship. So it's going to be a lot more relevant and um, it will probably be a lot more accurate, okay, in regards to love matters. All right, so I recommend you watch the sign of your Venus first, and yeah, you can watch the other ones as well if you would like, if you would like to. All right, let's get started. Let's see who will be your next love relationship. Please show me who will be Sagittarius's love, next love relationship. Tell me about this person. Okay, let's get one shuffle, please. Okay, that's it. First card we have here is the Tower. Oh, wow. It could be a Scorpio for some of you. Who, who is your next um, love relationship? Someone very um, intense, someone very powerful or dramatic. Maybe someone who you had an ending with also. Let's let's see more. Tell me more. We have here the Seven of Cups. Hmm, okay. Could be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Again, Scorpio. I'm getting that this is someone who you had an ending with. Who you had a previous ending with. This could have been a missed opportunity that you had in the past. Let me see what else, please. We have the Queen of Cups. You were you were unsure about this person in the past, Sagittarius. You had confusion. You felt confusion around this person. Again, strong um, water element here. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. They also had confusion around you. I feel like you, both of you had confusion around each other. And it might be that you two kind of parted ways with the Tower card had had a separation here tell me more please oh yeah six of pentacles in reverse yeah there was a there was a lack of coming together here with the six of pentacles you two were not seeing eye to eye you were not really um having a healthy exchange with each other or having any kind of exchange with each other There was a lack of reci reciprocity, a lack of reciprocity. Hmm. Uh, it feels to me like both of you were stubborn is what I'm getting. I feel like maybe they were stubborn and also you were stubborn and you weren't communicating well with each other. Um, you were keeping your feelings um, to, to yourself. Like you were keeping your feelings to yourself and they were doing the same. You weren't meeting in the middle. 
Okay, what else? We have the Queen of Wands. It could be a fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo. Again, with this Queen of Wands, someone stubborn, someone who, um, who has a lot of pride, very prideful. Or egos, ego, egotistic, possibly. Someone with a strong ego. Someone who didn't want to look vulnerable or they didn't want to look weak. And they had a lot of feelings for you, but they, they wouldn't allow themselves to express those feelings or show them. I'm getting, again, a sense of a missed opportunity here between you and this person. I feel like both of you wanted each other, though. There was a mutual desire. But it's possible that both of you had um, inflated egos. Possible, possibly, both of you, or one of you. What else? We had the Hierophants. Hmm. It's also possible for some of you that um, one of you was already in a commitment. One of you was already in a marriage. And therefore wasn't available to be in a relationship with this other person. You weren't in a relationship to be, you weren't available to be in a relationship with them or they weren't available to be in a relationship with you because there was another involvement here, some other external commitment or third party situation. But this also can mean that this person has a very strict way of thinking. Um, they have a very rigid belief system. Strict belief system. Okay, what else? We have the Ten of Swords in reverse. So yeah, this is again some someone from your past who you have unfinished business with. And who is still lingering in your energy. And I feel like you two are still... Kind of, you two are calling to each other. I feel like this is you, the Queen of Wands, and this is them, the Queen of Cups. You and both of you are upright, and I feel like both of you can still feel the connection, even if there is distance between you two. And it's a powerful connection, very, very powerful connection. And yeah, that that connection is not getting weaker. I feel like it's getting stronger um, as time passes by. Okay, what else? We have the Three of Cups in reverse. So like I was saying, there could have been a third party situation with this Hierophant card. Um, could be a Taurus, by the way, for some of you. Um, but yeah, there was a third party situation and somebody or both of you were not available to have another relationship. because To have a relationship because there was... Somebody was involved already or was tied up. Someone was tied up to to a previous engagement or, or some sort of responsibility. Okay, what else? We have the Ace of Cups. Beautiful. Yeah. The Ace of Cups means that this you two are going are going to reconnect, because like I said, it's like you two are calling to each other. Um, there's there's a, a a faded energy between you two or a destined energy that I'm feeling here. I feel like you two are destined to be together, and I feel like there's a new beginning that's going to be happening for for you for both of you and this is going to be your next love relationship and I feel like it's going to be successful because I feel like the distance has made you two grow fonder of each other and like I said has made the connection stronger and I feel like you two are going to value each other much more and the egos are going to fade away.
because I keep feeling like there was there's an ego here and a, an energy of ego that was separating you two. But um, I feel like that's going to change now with this with this tower moment that happened between you two. This you know maybe unexpected separation here. Um, It's like you two are no longer going to take each other for granted anymore and because um, I feel like maybe you two took each other for granted before because um, I feel like this there was a blessing here there was a, a beautiful opportunity here that um, you two did not both of you did not um, grab with the six of Pentacles in reverse um, you, you both of you let it pass pass you by and I feel like um, there's going to be a second chance here with the Ace of Cups to, to come together. And I feel like both of you are going to drop your egos and, and make this work the second time around. Because now you know what it feels like to be apart from each other. And it, it felt like hell, right? Because this looks like hell. So it's like you don't want to you don't want to feel that way again. So it's like this time you two are going to um, really commit to each other. And I feel like this could lead to to marriage and to long term commitment with the hero fund. OK, that was your reading, Sagittarius. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope it connected with you. If it did, please give me a thumbs up. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Take care.